Hi, I'm Travis and in this video we'll discuss how you can find out where an image was taken, uh, if it was taken with any kind of modern digital camera like a phone or a tablet or even a drone. First, if you just have a single image or a small number of images, you can just open them up with an application like Photos. Um, that's the first thing that we'll do here. Um, and so if I right click on this now, uh, I can look at file information and very quickly and easily find out where these images uh, or this particular image was taken. Um, so that's a great way to just get a quick sense of a single image. Um, and often that's all that you'll need. Um, but sometimes if you actually want to get that data and extract it from there, then one thing that you can do is you can go into the right click the image, go into the properties, go into details here, and then the, uh, the information on those geographic uh, like coordinates is in this as well. So that brings me to the second part of this video. If you have a whole set of images, say you went out on a big trip and you took tons of images, or we do a lot of talking about drone images in this channel, um, and say you took a whole bunch of drone images and you're not planning on processing them, but you just want to see quickly and easily uh, where they were all taken. Well, one thing that we can do is we can open up QGIS and uh, pretty quickly and easily do this. This will only work on versions of QGIS that are 3.4 or later. So there are other ways to do this if you have an earlier version, uh, but I really uh, probably would just recommend updating to the latest version uh, rather than figuring out those. Um, so we can start a new project in QGIS and then there's a, a tool that we can access um, to, to look at those. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to view and then just make sure that your, uh, your processing toolbox box here is checked so that you see all of these options to the right. And then we wanna go into vector creation and then there's import geotagged photos as an option there. You can click that and then in this window, we'll click there and select the folder with our images. So we'll select that folder. You can also um, play around with some of these other options. For example, some images won't have geotags, um, especially if you've been modifying them. Uh, and so we could create a temporary layer, uh, for example. And then we run this. And what we'll notice now is that we have a series of dots here or points. And that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you intuitively. So we wanna see those on a map, right? And so we need to make sure that we're seeing the browser in the left-hand side here to do our next step. If you don't see it, you can go to view panels and then browser there. Um, and then we'll want to go into this XYZ tiles uh, option and then you can click on open street map, uh, for example. And now we have a base map and we lost our dots. That's just because they're a lower layer. So we need to bring those back up to the top. So I'm gonna take my photos. I'm gonna bring those back up to the top. And now, um, now those are on top and we can see them. If I wanna adjust the sizes or anything, then I can do that by clicking uh, or right clicking, going to properties, and then make sure you're in the symbology section on the left here. And you can change the color to anything you want. So if you could make them red, you can make them larger, and maybe now they'll stand out a little bit better. We can click OK, and now there are bigger red points there on the map. Um, and then if we want to see where any individual picture was taken, then we can click here um, on the left side. And then this is our select tool, and we can click on any individual image. So if I want to say, like, well, which picture was taken here, I can click on it. And then I can go over to my photos layer, right click that, and then we want to click open attribute table, and we'll see if that was image 5867. So we can go back here and we can see image 5867 right there. That was the picture that was taken at that point in the field. Um, and if you want to see uh, like which where any specific picture was taken, then you can also go to the attribute table again and click on that one. So if we wanted to know where 5122 uh, was taken, then we could click on it on the attribute table 
and see that it's at this position. You can see, we just click around and see where each of these images was taken this way. Uh, you can also select multiple images like this and do other things as well. So hopefully this has been a quick and easy way uh, for you to see where a set of images has been taken. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.